everybody black ninja 797 here and in today's video i can't believe i'm saying this out loud but i'm here to tell you my thoughts on the ending of the walking dead now this is about the book by the way not the tv show um because the book in my opinion is so much better than the way the show's been going i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys can agree i appreciate what the show has done and what it did um but i just don't like the direction the show is going just because it's completely different than what it was from the book if i probably didn't read the book i probably enjoy the show more but i enjoy the book so much better if you haven't read the walking dead books please do yourself a big favor and read these books it, like they have been a masterpiece of a series and i can't literally find a word to tell you how amazing the, the series is just please do yourself a big favor and just read the books um it's graphic novels um so there's pictures so you don't have to worry about just having it be all words but seriously at the end of the day it's one of the best things you'll ever do i promise you won't regret it but anyways i'm here to talk about my thoughts on how The Walking Dead is now officially ended and where we go from here. If I do include spoilers, I will uh, put in a warning, um, but I'm not sure quite yet as I'm making this video, even if I'm even gonna say spoilers, just because, I don't know, I just, I'm not really sure whether or not I want to do this video a certain way. This is kind of just the last minute, but yeah, this is my thoughts on The Walking Dead book. So, the Walking Dead book has had 32 volumes, um, with the last one being um, recently, it uh, just came out this month in August, called Rest in Peace. Um, so the series has actually gone through many, many things. Um, the show has tried its best to copy pretty much the book, you know, you know, for every single protagonist, antagonist, everything you can think of. Um, the show has had slight modifications from the book. Um, but the show used to be uh, very true to uh, the book. It used to have like the same characters. They very rarely switch things up. So in the books, there is you know the governor, there is uh, Negan and the saviors, there is the whisperers, and uh, you know other stuff included as well. And it's really weird to say this out loud that the series has actually ended because originally people were saying like, oh, the Walking Dead show has ended. But like just as a brand, like the the, the like the, the thing of the the thing that we know as the Walking Dead, that story arc, at least the original one with Rick and Carl and all those guys is officially now done. And it, it's just really, really weird to think about that. Sure there will be spin-offs and sure there'll still be the Walking Dead stuff and there'll be fan stuff and all that thing, but just the original is now done and it's so weird to think and say that out loud. Like I'm still in disbelief, I'm still waiting for the next book and, <laughs> and it's weird because it's not gonna happen, but Robert Kirkman, for whatever reason, if you end up watching this video, or if you even saw my tweets or anything, just thank you so much for what you've done with this series. It, it was a big part of my childhood, and I will never you know, forget what this series has done for me. I'm a huge geek when it comes to The Walking Dead, and you know the fact that I literally got to meet um, one of the actors of The Walking Dead, you know, Tom Payne or Jesus, um, just this year at Comic-Con still blows my mind. It's just like... It's, it's kind of funny, looking back, how when I was younger, I was, you know, thinking about all these things that I used to, you know, want to do, and how I was just like, oh, the, like, these are, like, my dream goals and everything, like, I want to, you know, be a YouTuber, and, like, I wanted to meet all these people, and I wanted to do all these, uh, you know, other cool things, and a lot of them recently have been starting to unfold, and it's actually really, really weird to see that, so having the book now end, it's, it's really, really weird, because I was like, oh, I can't wait to see how The Walking Dead ends, and it's just like, now that I got the ending, it's just like, wow, I'm actually in disbelief that that, you know, really happened, you know? And the ending, oh my god, the ending, it... <laughs> I went through so many emotions, dude. Like, I literally actually teared up a little bit, man. Like, and I'm a, a guy, I know it's not, you know, a manly thing to cry, but, like... Dude, it, it, it was just that powerful. I, I swear to god, that book, that last book, just, dude, it was so amazing to read that book. I, I'm probably never going to forget how that, that story unfolded. And, and I, ironically, too, it was kind of... I really don't want to spoil it. Okay, if I do spoil it, like I said, I will put warnings. But uh, just fair warning right now, because I'm not sure if this is technically a spoiler. Um, I legit wouldn't know, but just in case anybody gets upset, I'm just going to say warning now. This is a potential spoiler, so I'll give you like a few seconds here. But um, the way that the book ended, it's like half what you would expect and sometimes not what you would expect at the same time it, it's kind of weird because i got to keep in mind some people have only ever watched the show and some people watch the show and the book but the best way i can put it is that the direction that the show is currently going is nothing like the way i expect it uh, to be like similar to the book at all so 
the book and the show, I think, are going to have, like, honestly, completely different endings. Just because the way that the show has uh, been working so far, the last just couple seasons here, um, where they've done some major things like killing Carl, basically killing Rick, um, with Maggie leaving, um, Michonne uh, eventually going to be leaving. Um, you know, with all that happening, um, all their characters, the way that they end up being in the book and having them now be out of the show... It, it would be literally impossible to replicate, you know, the the show to be a lot like the book, like it was originally like before. Because um, I would say pre season eight, and even half of season eight, the show still had a chance to be a lot like the book. And then with the big character roles, it's just not possible really anymore, unless they start switching character roles or g giving new characters, you know, different roles or something like that. But anyways, I'm not trying to make this a rant video. I'm just saying is that it's a, like a completely different ending from what I think the show is going to be, and. And it's sort of, kind of like you would when you expected the ending to be, but at the same time, it's all different at the same time. It's really weird, but like without spoiling, I'm trying so hard not to spoil, because I I just want, I'm trying to just encourage you guys if you want to find it, you know, and and spoil it for yourself, go ahead. But I'm trying to, if you guys haven't, you know, read the spoilers yet or know what happens yet, to just go read the books. I, there, there's literally no other way to describe how amazing the story is if you just fly read the books and let be a surprise. I mean, I mean, Robert Kirkman even had a uh, a little uh, thing at the end of the book where you could read his thoughts and you know his uh, opinions about how the Walking Dead unfold after all this time. And one of the things he says is he doesn't like um, you know spoilers and he likes surprises and he tried to do that very hard with the Walking Dead. So I, I'm trying to honor his wish and not spoil it for you guys. But yeah, the, the Walking Dead books, like man, it, it, it is just. It's so unreal. I'm incredibly thankful. It turned out somewhat the way I expected, but not at the same time. It's literally undescribable, but it was amazing nonetheless. I feel like it's going to go different from the show, but who knows? Like the show could end up making a you know change or whatever. But at this point, though, I mean, it would just feel like fake at this point. They're trying to make it too much like the show. They've kind of already just ridden themselves into a corner and make it different, which I understand. Um, hopefully, Robert Kirkman, uh, you will even if you don't necessarily continue the Walking Dead universe with Rick and Carl. You hopefully you'll make more Walking Dead-ish books, or just make more books in general because I like your books a lot. I really, really do. Um, one of the books that I need to get on reading is the uh, the, the the book that you made about uh, what happened to the governor. Um, it was like I I think a uh, non uh, graphic novel. I prefer graphic novels, but it's a uh, the story about um, the the Walking Dead governor. Um, it's like Road to Woodbury or something like that. Or, uh, the, or the Governor Part 1. And I think there's two different ones. I think one's about Woodbury and then one's about the Governor specifically. Um, but yeah, those those books I really need to read. And uh, I'm thinking about maybe um, tuning back into Fear the Walking Dead. Because uh, Fear the Walking Dead, there's not exactly a book um, to be based off of. And I feel like I kind of jumped the gun by stopping watching after they, uh, you know, spoiler alert, you know, uh, killed Nick. Uh, who was one of my favorite characters. And I think I was still salty about the Carl thing and the Rick thing at the time, and since Nick was one of my favorite characters, I think I just jumped the gun. Um, but my, my mom still watches all the shows, uh, believe it or not. She tells me that it's gotten better. So I'm thinking about at least giving Fear the Walking Dead a chance. Um, or maybe, hell, even the Walking Dead, I don't know. Mostly Fear the Walking Dead, I assume. And I heard there's also supposed to be some new shows as well. Um, so I'm, I'm just really in a Walking Dead-themed um, mood right now, and I really, really want to continue. Because, I mean, I really do truly love The Walking Dead, and the fact that now the book's ended and the show's has just been kind of, eh, I need something to fill that zombie void. <laughs> so, if any of you guys have any recommendations for zombie-themed books, shows, movies, anything, uh, please let me know in the comment section down below. I would greatly appreciate it. But yeah, guys, this is basically today's video. I hope you ended up enjoying. Let me know what your thoughts and opinions are down below in the comment section. Um, if you've read the book, um, without trying to spoil it for everyone else in the comment section, uh, tell me what you thought about it. Um, if you haven't read the book, uh, you know I definitely encourage you guys to read the books because they're amazing. And the, the show can't truly explain how the books are, uh, you know, especially now. But uh, you, you just have to see it for yourself. That's literally all I can say. But anyways, guys, um, this is today's video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, I tremendously appreciate it if you could drop a thumbs up on the video and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here because I really appreciate it. And I'll let you guys know I'm uploading another video. And, uh, you know, that, that's pretty much it. Hopefully The Walking Dead will end up, um, 
you know, finding its way somehow back in my life, because I've been kind of missing The Walking Dead. I haven't really had any Walking Dead themed things lately, you know, because of the shows and the, the books, so hopefully there will be a new show or a new book coming out soon. And Robert Kirkman, if you're ever watching this video, or you see my tweets or anything, just thank you, man, for the best series that I've ever read in my life, and um, allowing me to be able to be in this universe with all these amazing characters and storytelling. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.